Hey, what's going on? Build this Kurosama here. And we're gonna be taking a look at the Gusion over here in Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. I know a lot of people has been requesting this mobile suit for whatever reason. I don't really know. Maybe it's a lot of people's fans' favorites. Me personally, not really a, a big fan of it. I think it does look pretty cool. Um, but I think for the most part, it's not really my go-to when it comes to like favorite designs. Uh, but I did want to show you something real quick is that your boy is still in the top 100. Uh, so it's about almost time for it to reset. I think in a couple more hours, it's going to be resetting. But it's, it's looking pretty good that by the end of this uh, arena come, what, Monday? Uh, I should be in the top 100. And last time, last week, I placed, oh, I got to see, where is it? Last arena results. I placed 126. So my goal is to place in the top 100 because I really want to get more Haro chips uh, so that way it's less money for me to spend in this game. Okay, and here is the Gusion. So, you know, it's not a bad looking suit. You know, I I'm just saying it's not my personal favorite, uh, but I can see why people really love it. It's a very bulky suit. It's green. It looks very different than what you will see with most Gundams, to be honest. Now, um, if you don't know, the Gusion, at least this version right here, this isn't its original form. It, it's the Gusion uh, Rebake is actually the uh, closer to the original look of the uh, Gusion. So this is a heavily modified one uh, because the pilot is a sadistic asshole, whatever. So this is what he wanted, but this is definitely a heavy modified version of the original frame. Now, where do you get these parts? Well, you go over to the Acorn Exchange and you're gonna have all the basic body parts. You're gonna have the hammer and the submachine gun. Okay, so for the first part, we're going to take a look at the head unit. Uh, the head unit really isn't looking too bad, to be honest. Um, it, it's, it's obviously not going to have a huge amount of shot attack, but um, it, it's a level 3. What can you expect? But it has decent armor, I think. Um, so taking a look at the EX skill, it's going to be head-mounted Vulcan and flare. So you throw in a little flare in there as well. Uh, but physical shot, um, D, oh, D minus D. So you're going to be firing Vulcans, and then you're launching a flare at the same time. I don't think I've ever seen that uh, with any other head unit. So move freely while, shoot, while shooting, lowers hit enemies' melee and shot defenses by 14%. So it kind of seems like it's not really doing anything extra except for just showing your location. Uh, so I think the flare doesn't really do much of anything else. Okay, now we're looking at the body. So you're going to have really, I would say, really good armor. Um, this is obviously going to be more leaning to a defensive type suit. So, of course, it's going to have better armor. Has some decent uh, defenses. Now, looking at the EX skill, Buster Anchor. Physical shot, piercing is D. Power is going to be B+. Cool down 41 seconds first time, 11 seconds. So, demolish foes from point blank range with a quad 400 millimeter cannon. Uh, so, basically, the four little cannons on his chest, you're going to shoot all four of those. Now, if you do have an EX uh, ability or, or passive trait, I should say, uh, that increases any kind of EX damage by a set amount, like 50 or whatever, then each individual um, shot should get that, that increase, which is pretty damn good. Now we're taking a look at the arms, so you're not really going to have too much of anything. Obviously that melee attack is really going to be bad in comparison to a lot of other mobile suits. Uh, especially, I always compare it to the Rising in terms of uh, default 3 stars, because the Rising has amazing uh, melee attack, but this one really doesn't. And I, I mean, it has made up for it with uh, the defenses right here, but I think for the most part, it could have definitely had a lot more of the uh, melee class. Now we're looking at the EX skill, you're going to have Gemini Satellite. Beam shot, which is weird because it's really weird. I don't remember it doing this in the show, um, and pretty much no suits have beam attacks. It's all like our artillery um, and ballistic rounds, so it's kind of odd. But I mean, it looks like it's a pretty good ability. You got um, category beam shot, which kind of doesn't match the rest of the suit, but yeah, piercing is gonna be a minus, which isn't. It's, that's actually pretty good for an uh, for a. I mean, sorry, for a three-star suit, you're going to have power D, cool down 60 seconds, first time 6 seconds, generate an energy bit to provide automatic support fire. You can move freely while this is active. So, I think that's pretty cool. I would like to see this in action, uh, just to see exactly what it looks like, if it's something that's viable, and if it's really worth upgrading all the way to max, uh, so that way you can have a, you know, exactly what you see right here, powered suit. Now we're taking a look at the legs. Obviously, you're going to have some pretty decent armor all around. Then take a look at the EX skill, hand grenade, physical shot, piercing D, power B+, cool down 21 seconds, first time, 6 seconds. Throw a hand grenade attached to your side armor. Very, very basic. Now we're taking a look at the backpack. I think the defenses on here are actually really, you know, halfway decent, honestly. 
Um, then take a look at the EX skill, is Gusion Hammer. So physical melee, piercing D, power is going to be B plus, cool down 30 seconds, first time 8 seconds, uh, brandish the hammer on your back and a flurry attack. I have a problem with this. Why is it, like, I don't get this. Why is the hammer on the back when you get the hammer separately? To me, that makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, like, Bandai Namco, I don't know what you're doing, but th this should have been a passive trait part. The backpack should not have had uh, the hammer on the back. You, this EX skill should have been on the actual hammer. Throw a trait on here that either does something for defender types or does something good with uh, increasing attack damage with like EX skills, like extra piercing or extra power. This is horrible though. Why? I don't know why they chose this route, but hey, it's it's their game. Now take a look at the Gusion Hammer. So the melee attack is actually not really that impressive to be honest, and everything else is not too impressive. The armor is actually pretty decent. Uh, but Spinning Rave, Physical Melee, Pierce D, Power B, Cool Down, 8 seconds, so ready your axe, then spin, ready your axe, it's a hammer. So, <laughs> ready your axe, then spin to attack nearby foes, lower hit enemies, gun plus shot attack by 19%. So, that secondary ability is actually going to be pretty good because of the fact that this is going to be a defender type. So, reducing shot attack is going to be really good. Um, I would probably have preferred melee because you're already so close to the enemy. So why not lower their melee when you're already close to the enemy? Um, that's just my opinion, but yeah, I, I think I think that's not a bad EX ability, but it's just unfortunate that it's going to be on a really badly statted you know weapon to be honest. And the last part is going to be the submachine gun. So really bad shot attack, and I know this is a default three star, but I have seen some better shot attack weapons in the past. Now this is going to be the only part of the Gusion that's going to have an actual trait. So you got defender job, which is really good. Enemy shooting power reduced 25%. Now this is at max uh, level, but that is amazing. Um, that this is probably the best thing to get from the Gusion already. Like. Just from what I've been reading with all the parts, this is definitely what you want to go go for, to be honest. Um, because whenever that four uh, that four player like raid mode comes out, this is going to be something. Oh, Pokemon go, go as close. Uh, this is going to be something that's going to really benefit whoever the defender, um, you know, mobile suit is going to be. Uh, just that way, that shooting power can get reduced, and it's it's going to be for all the uh, your your allies. So they're going to be reaping the benefits from this trait. So I'm going to max this out because I am planning to be the defender type of my squad. Uh, we already got some other people that have the healing roles. We got some people with the uh, like the buff role. We got some people with the DPS role. So I decided I want to go with the defender type. Now we're looking at the word tag. So you got heavy armor for pretty much everything. Four space is also going to have two. So obviously it's a terrain one percent uh, one percent increase for all per, uh, parameters, and then three percent if you are in the space actual like terrain. Now you are going to have two mid-ranges, so mid-range is raise shot attack and physical resistance 5% while active. I think that's pretty horrible. Um, I, I personally would not use this mobile suit for the, the shooting aspect. This is a defender type, so you're going to want more um, defenses, much like heavy armor, which is raise melee and shot defense 5% while active. That's actually really good. And lastly, you're going to have high firepower, which raises melee and shot attack 5% while active. This isn't bad because it does have melee, and you are going to have three of them. So all you really need to do is just get two more, so you can get one with the pilot, one with the shield. Increase that high firepower, and you're going to have two active uh, word tags right then and there. Okay, so um, I just went ahead and threw on the divider shield because that gave us the high firepower tag. And then I gave us Dozel Zombie, and I'm going to show you what he does. He is going to be a defender type, and his part trait with power attribute, which he is, uh, EX skill piercing boosted 13%. Now, this is only at level 5. Obviously, max out is going to do a lot more. Uh, but I think this is a really good balance uh, defender type. So, really could be good if you're bringing it into battle. But let's go ahead and take a look at, the, at these EX skills. Okay, and we're going to be jumping right into a mission. So, this is the machine gun. Yeah, not really doing too, too much. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the hammer. The hammer is really cool. I actually love that hammer. Alright, this is going to be the head mount. So, we do have the flare that went off. So, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I, I like the flare, to be honest. Now, this is going to be the body unit right here. That was the body. Now this is going to be the arms. That is weird. Did he have that in the show? I 
honestly, I don't remember him ever having that in the show. It's a really cool looking suit, though. I mean, I'm I'm really digging it. All right, let's get the Vulcans up once more. more. Oop. There we go. Oh, so we throw the flare right in their face. I wonder how that works in uh, in in like the arenas. Definitely be curious about that. And we're gonna do this another time because we gotta showcase all the other uh, EX skills. Ooh, I love it. I mean, it it looks good. We're gonna activate our defender now. All right. Mmm, I really like it. I really, I really love the hammer. I don't, I'm not digging the backpack. So, if I do make a custom of the Gusion and use it as like a, a good defender type, um, honestly, I'm thinking I'll change that backpack because I'm, I'm not really interested in, in the uh, EX skill. But, hey, I mean, those, those EX skills aren't really horrible. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the other set of, uh, other set, set of skills. <laughs> Um, so we got the hand grenades, which is going to be for the legs. Alright, so this is the legs. So basically just throws a grenade. This is going to be the backpack right here. Ooh! Okay, so it's a little bit of AoE attack. Now this is going to be the actual hammer. Okay, that hammer's not too bad. Mm. Oh man, it's beautiful. I kind of want to. I'm gonna wait for that hand grenade to uh, charge up again. I want to see. I want to gather them all up. All right, let me try and. No, oh, stop! I want to. There we go. Yep. So okay, so the grenade does AOE damage, which isn't bad whatsoever. All right, waiting for that goosey on. There we go. All right, that hammer's not horrible, to be honest. And we're gonna take, uh, well, that was the backpack hammer. This is a normal hammer. So you know what? I actually don't mind the EX skills of both the backpack and the actual hammer. Now, I know around this time is when I show you what a custom's gonna look like, but honestly, I'm still gonna st uh, stick with what I mentioned before, where like the submachine gun is the best thing that's gonna be from this weapon, or sorry, from this suit, and I mean, you can kind of get away with some things. I don't believe that uh, the backpack is horrible. I think the EX skill for that is okay. But everything else can really just... You can replace it with something else. Like, the Artemis is, is probably a better defender than what this suit is, to be honest. Um, so, I would honestly say... If you're going to use a suit, uh, you, you're going to have to get rid of three of, like... Like, probably three or more of the main body parts, because... This is the thing. Look at all your EX skills. You're gonna have e you're gonna have extra EX skills you're never gonna touch, and those parts can be better used as a part that has a good trait with it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things. Now, if you want to replace the head unit, uh, I think a good replacement would be the Gundam Age Titus. Uh, it's also gonna have a really good EX skill, which is protection beta. So it's a buff, first time seven seconds, raise ally physical resistance by 47%. So this is good when you're in that uh, that four man raid. You know, helping out your other uh, partners because, you know, that's what a defense... A, I would just say that's what a defensive tight unit is going to do is, like, try and buff everyone or buff itself. And then also, you know, just kind of, like, take a lot of the, uh, you know, all the, the damage and all the aggro. Now, once again, I do think the Gundam Age Titus is actually fairly decent to replace because it does have a pretty good parts trait. So if you want, uh, you're obviously going to be attacking with physical, probably with the hammer. Your strong melee power is going to be boosted by 16%. So when you're just wailing on the uh, the big Zam, you're you know you're going to have really good strong physical uh, attacks. Now, for arms, I do think the camphor is actually going to be pretty good because when attacking with physical, your strong melee crit rate is going to be boosted 8%, and you're still going to have the high firepower word tag activated. So, if you really wanted, yeah, it's a, it's a technical um, you know, attribute, but I think the camphor's arms are actually a pretty good substitute. Now, the Titus legs aren't really too bad. It's going to have high firepower, but the EX skill is going to be a debuff, so first time is going to be 8 seconds. Reduce shot attack of all enemies by 20%, so that's really going to help you and your uh, your allies out because if you're getting shot up, uh, as a defender, yeah, you want to go ahead and just try and reduce as much damage that you and your squad are going to be taking. 
And for the backpack, I do believe the Sumo's backpack is going to be pretty good. So when armor is 60% or more, EX skill piercing is going to be boosted by 8%. So if you're going to be pulling off some you know, EX abilities from the Gusan itself, uh, look for the ones that actually have a little bit lower tier piercing, like you know, D or whatever. Uh, and then use this, and it's going to increase that stat. But you can also use it for the ones that have like the B, B+, uh, because it's going to bring it up closer to that A ranking. Now for the guns, I honestly think the submachine gun is, per is just perfectly fine. You're probably going to be a defender type anyways if you're going to be piloting the uh, Gusion. So just keep the submachine gun and that trait is really going to come in handy. Now for weapons, if you do have the mace, I honestly encourage you just to use the mace instead of the hammer. Uh, the hammer's EX skill is actually okay, but I mean the mace is way better. Now the question you're asking is how many parts and what parts should I be getting? I would say just get one of everything. I would max out the submachine gun, get 15, any, like, you really only need, I think, a max of 10 to, uh, to max it out when it gets to gold. Uh, but I would, I would say go for the submachine gun, maybe go for the arms, and maybe the backpack. Um, that, that's kind of like what my, my go-tos are going to be. So I might pick up a couple more arms, and I'll probably pick up uh, some more backpack pieces. But the hammer is just really bad, and the legs aren't really that good. Um, I mean, the grenade has AOE, but honestly, you, there's better there's better EX skills out there. And uh, I think the body and the head are not good whatsoever. So, um, not interested in any of those, but definitely 100% that gun is going to be, I would say, a game changer maybe later on in the future. But, hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, if you do like this video, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Uh, also, let me know which suit you would like to see in the future, so that way I can start getting an an uh, analysis video together for that. And if you can, drop a like, and hey, subscribe if you haven't already. But I'll be seeing you guys in the next Gumpa Battle, Gumpa Warfare video. Bye-bye.